Hey everyone, Hassan here, and I got another Power Ranger Super Mega Force review for you today. This is the Power Ranger Super Mega Force Nintendo 3DS game from Bandai Namco Games. So I did sort of a gameplay and review video for the Mega Force game uh, for 3DS, which was pretty terrible. But a lot of people watched the video. I think like a few hundred thousand or something, which is insane. So. Apparently you guys want to see more, so here it is, Power Ranger Super Mega Force. So hopefully this game is a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot up the game. I've only played two levels so far just to get a very basic feel for the game. So I'm going to show you some gameplay, talk about it. We're going to scan some Ranger keys and show you guys what this game is all about. And, and hopefully we'll see if this is better than the Mega Force game. So first things first. Uh, I'll take the, the game cartridge out of the 3DS. So I bought the, the retail copy. I believe it is on the eShop, which I did not realize until after I bought this. Otherwise, I would have just downloaded it. But pretty cool cartridge art. I really do like that, though. The, the whole team of the six of them. Uh, pretty sweet. So anyway, so there's, there's the cartridge there. And here's the actual uh, 3DS game case. So your typical, like, the poster art of the six of them, which I love. I really do love this artwork. So um, pretty cool that they use that for the box art. And the back, go, go, Super Mega Force. So you can scan Ranger Keys to unlock Legendary Red Rangers and Power Ups. So you can actually, I believe, play as, you can even kind of see in the screen there, all of the Super Mega Force Rangers, all of the Mighty Morphin Rangers, and every single Red Ranger from every season, which is pretty amazing, actually. Uh, from the start, you only have access to the six Super Mega Force Rangers, but I believe scanning the Ranger keys might unlock the others. So battles, your favorite Super Mega Force Ranger, Super Size Zord battles as well. So I've not gotten a chance to do that yet, but you got the, uh, the little symbol there, which is pretty cool. On the inside, so you had your game cartridge there. There's actually a Club Nintendo uh, thing in here, so I'm not going to show the code on the other side, but uh, I was kind of surprised to see that. More and more third-party games have a Club Nintendo code. And your very, very, very basic manual. I don't think I even opened this up because it, at this point, it's not even a manual. It just has all the health warnings and stuff. So, all right, never mind. That was kind of pointless. Um, but, yeah, so pretty much uh, pretty standard stuff there. So I'm just going to kind of sit this in the back. And I got my 3DS XL here, so let's pop in the game. And uh, here's the sound that it makes, by the way, when I, when I go on it. Power Ranger Super Mega Force! So it says Power Ranger Super Mega Force. So let's boot up the game. <coughs> I got the camera right in front of my face. I don't know if you can see me in the reflection. Hey! So that's going to be a little annoying to try and play, but I'll, I'll try and... Uh, see what I can do to give you guys like the best angle as well. So I'm booting up the game. And you got the Super Mega Force theme playing essentially, so this is all that happens on the title screen. But it looks pretty good, you know, you got that there. Press start button, let's get right into it. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's a couple different things there and it'll give you a description of the mode down below. Um, you have Story, Museum, Ranger Key Scan, and Reset Save Data. So I'm going to hop into the uh, museum real quick. Uh, I don't think there's anything in there yet, though, so never mind. I might have to come back to it once I unlock some stuff. Um, before I actually jump... Um, actually, I'm, let me click Story for a second. I'm not actually going to play the game yet. But under Story, there's a couple things. So Select Stage will take you right to the Stage Select. Um, but then you can also go to a shop. So I'll show you that so it tells you at the bottom screen what each thing does. Turn the volume down slightly. And the shop is actually, you got Tensu uh, doing the shop, which is kind of neat. Uh, so I have that many coins from playing two levels, 1330. And so you can get for 1500 coins, HP up 50% or HP up 100% for 3500 coins. So um, yeah, I'm gonna pass on those. I don't even have enough anyways, but that just gives you an idea of the type of stuff you can get in the shop. Um, items, then you can also uh, use different items. Um, and on the bottom screen here, um, I don't know why the Blue Ranger is selected there or something. I don't know. But anyways, um, so increase defense, attack, increase Ranger level by one, max HP. So you can level up your Rangers the more you use them and they'll get stronger and they have all these stats and stuff when you select them basically. And the last one is achievements. So you can view your list of achievements. So far I've just completed stage one and stage two as well, but I guess there's no achievement for it, so. Um, yay, I got one achievement so far, yay. 
Anyways, so I'm gonna back out of this. And let's head to, let's go back out to the main menu. And I figured, you know what, let's start off scanning some ranger keys. Let's do that. So I got a bunch of ranger keys here. So let's start off with the Super Mega Force Red Ranger. Oop, it's already trying to find the, uh, the key there. So let me actually uh, get this in key mode real quick. Now the Mega Force one was very difficult to scan. So let's see, oh, this actually scanned quite nicely. Scan Super Mega Force Red Ranger's key. Gotta level up. All right, sweet. So that was Super Mega Force Red. Um, we got Super Mega Force Blue. So it actually scans it quite easily, which is pretty cool. At least the Red Ranger one it did. There's nothing really telling me how close or how far to, to put it, you know? Um, so that's another thing to take into consideration. I'm trying to put this one pretty close. You really do have to be in really good lighting for this to work. Um, and I do have like two bright lamps shining right at this, and yet still. And I also don't want to waste too much time with this. So let's skip on ahead. Uh, so anyways, I'm guessing the Super Mega Force Rangers, I already have them unlocked. So let's go, let's jump over to Muddy Morphin. Let's get the Muddy Morphin Red Ranger. By the way, you can check out uh, Ranger Crew's website, blog.samuraicast.com. And he actually shows, like, lists all the keys that you can use to unlock stuff, what they do, and and all that stuff. So, all right, scan Mighty Morphin Red Ranger's key. Perfect. Got level up times five. Unlocked Mighty Morphin Red. All right. Cool. So I unlocked the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger by scanning that key. Uh, let's say I scan Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger. What happens? Let's find out. One of the females here. I'm assuming I would unlock the Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger. Let's see. Scan Zia Red Ranger's key. Oops, that didn't scan properly. Well, I unlock Zia Red. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, Ranger key's already been scanned. No, no, it hasn't. This is this is the Pink Ranger. Let's try one more time. Oh well. Okay. Apparently, it's not gonna let me unlock Pink Ranger. That's kind of weird. I'll play with it a bit more. Um, so far it's better than the Mega Force Scanner because that one was barely usable at all. This one is mostly usable, except it's not recognizing some of the keys properly. Let's try yellow. The white dots on the yellow are going to be so hard to register. Like the white dots on the, on the code. Yeah, this one, I can, I can already tell this is going to be difficult to pick up because of the yellow background. Huh, well... Alright, I'm going to have to play with this a bit more. I don't want to waste too much time on that. Uh, let's try and get Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. Let's see if I can unlock him at least and just see what happens. Again, I don't know how close or how far to, to put these keys. There's, there's no like icon or indicator there to tell me. And it's not scanning it properly. Let's see. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to readjust myself and I'm knocking over the camera. Come on, Mighty Morphin Green. Trying to hold it in one place and see. Anything? Really? Let's go back out of there and then hop back in. Oh, really? It's really having a tough time with the Green Ranger key, too. Okay, well, uh, Mighty Morphin White, is that unlockable in the game? Maybe? I don't know. Let's find out. But I bet you the white background's going to be hard to read on this one, too, now that I think about it. Uh-huh. All right, you know what? I'm just going to skip that. I'm going to go to, like, an easier one, maybe. Let's try Mighty Morphin Blue. I just want to, like, unlock a Ranger other than Red. For Mighty Morphin just to see. But these are all rather hard to scan. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is not going well. Uh, let me shine my phone's flashlight on it. Really? Even on my phone's flashlight, it should pick up the code pretty well at this point. I don't know how much brighter I can really get this. You know what I mean? I really don't know how much browser I can get that. So maybe it's just not going to scan that key. That just, that seems weird to me. Let's try, I already got Zio red, right? Didn't unlock it. Um, let's get turbo red. Yeah, that one worked. That scanned right away. Um, so maybe it's just really picky about certain keys or maybe certain ones don't scan. So unlock turbo red. Um, so I'm just gonna jump ahead a little bit. Let's unlock, uh, let's just do Jungle Fury Red. I'm just gonna pick a couple random ones. Let's try it without, no, I might actually need my phone's, uh, my phone's flashlight. So you really do need to be in a bright area. Yep, so I've got Jungle Fury Red. So I've got to level up, unlock Jungle Fury Red. Um, what if, what if I try, uh, the Jungle Fury, uh, Wolf Ranger? Now I'm curious to see if this one will do anything. It's not going to unlock it, because I know you can't play as the Wolf Ranger. Uh, looks like it just doesn't recognize it at all. Alright. Uh, let's do... the Megaforce Red Ranger. Alright. Unlocked Megaforce Red. Let's grab in the Time Force Red Ranger. I'm just gonna get a couple of the Red Rangers. I'm not gonna to scan all of them right now. Oops, hit A. All right, Time Force Red. And uh, last but not least, let's do a uh, Dino Thunder Red. All right, so those those Red Ranger keys scan quite easily. It looks like it's basically just the the other keys, which which are kind of picky. Um, but the Mighty Morphin one should have worked. They should have been able to. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more. I, you know what? I gotta try. I, I really want to unlock one of the other Mighty Morphin ones just to make sure, you know, that it's that it's working, I guess, or something. There we go, success, finally, Mighty Morphin Black Ranger. All right, so, got a max attack power increased, unlocked Mighty Morphin Black. So I'll have to try the other keys later, but as you can see, it's very finicky. It really is not the easiest thing in the world to, to unlock these keys, uh, to unlock all the Rangers. So, let's get out of there, and let's now, uh, let's actually head to the museum, because now I'm curious to see if it unlocks stuff in the museum. It has! There's some stuff, let's view some information on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, so it gives you an image and a bit of their story down below. Um, how do I scroll down? Oh, I just hit the A button, okay. Uh, like, let's see what they say on... Super Mega Force. So there's Super Mega Force. I'll just show you all the images of the teams that I unlocked. Jungle Fury. Dino Thunder. Anyway, let's get out of there. So you get the idea. So it kind of shows an image of, of some of the Rangers, at least, on, on each of the teams. It's kind of neat, I suppose. Uh, but let's jump right into the story now. And let's select the stage. <laughs> so what you do is I've, I've, I've beaten stage 1-1 one, one, and then it unlocks this row, basically. So I can't go up because I can't get to those later worlds. So I'm, I've beaten stage 1-2, I'm on stage 1-3. So there's at least stage 1-6 to six, I see there. So I'm going to jump right into stage 1-3. And you can choose your difficulty level from very easy, easy, normal, and hard. I've been playing on normal and it's not bad at all really, so let's just keep it at normal. And the only option really is free play right now, so I just click that, and that's basically playing the level. And so here's your whole row of the, the Rangers, as you can see. So um, I got your, your Super Mega Force Rangers right there, red, blue, green, yellow, pink, and silver. Those were unlocked from the start. But then by scanning the keys, I got Mighty Morphin Red and Black, 
And there's space for, I'm assuming, blue, yellow, pink, green, white. And, oh, Alien Ranger probably goes right there as well. Red Alien Ranger. And you got, I got Zeo, Mega Force. I got the other, some of the other Red Rangers unlocked. And the way that this game works is you would think that the, the gimmick of Super Mega Force being able to transform into other Rangers, you would think you'd be able to do that. Uh, wrong. You can't do that, which is kind of disappointing, actually. Instead, you pick two Rangers. You play as one, and you have a support Ranger as well. So, so far, I've been playing, I did one is with blue and pink and then green and yellow. So for this video, I'm going to do red and silver. So I'm going to pick the red ranger. Um, and then it asks you, so it tells you the uh, the HP and level. So level one, all that. If you see, if I pick like the blue ranger, he's at level two because I played with him a little bit. So his stats went up a little bit. So I'll just do red and silver for this. Uh, Super Mega Force red and silver. And proceed with these rangers, yes. So I get to play as red and silver ranger is my support. And then I'll do another level with some of the other legendary red rangers as well. So you can see those. So I like the loading screen here. It's not too long of a loading screen, but I do like the, the image of the sky ship. It's, it's kind of nice. Alright, so now that you're playing, you have this couple stuff on this bottom screen. You have these two things here which are like either power-ups or healing things, I'm not sure exactly what they are, but you have the, the D-pad to activate it left or right on the D-pad. You can choose what your partner does. So close range, so I'm the Red Ranger, and close range keeps the Silver Ranger close by. I can do long distance, and he stays at a bit more of a distance. Balanced, so he'll be balanced, or he'll be focused on defense or whatever, so I like to keep him close range, so I'll do that. Now you're, you, you move with the circle pad, all right? Your D-pad is just for activating those things down there. You have your health bar and everything up there for both rangers. The B button is to jump, okay? A button is your standard attack. You can also jump and attack downward like that. Um, your Y button, you pushing it doesn't really do anything as far as I can tell. You hold it down and it's like charging up and while it's being charged up, like I'm still holding Y, I can move around. But when I let go, you let out like a charged up attack. And X is like a blaster usually, like that's like your blaster attack. Um, R doesn't seem to do anything, although one time I pushed R and it did something, so I'm not sure exactly, but L is a shield. So those are your basics, and I just kind of figured it out by messing around with it. There's also these little things that you can collect. I don't know what it does, I guess maybe gives you coins or something. Can I go up the stairs? Ooh, let's go up. All right, let's jump down. Wow, am I literally... Okay, I thought I was almost stuck for a second. So let's fight the uh, these guys here. Let's power up. Oh, once you get hit, you lose your, your power up there, so you gotta unleash it right away. It's actually not that strong anyways, so it's kind of a waste. And using the blaster is also annoying because you really have to, like, line it up with the enemy if you're slightly, like... It, it only shoots horizontally. So if you're slightly off, um, it's going to be a bit more difficult. Let's help out the Silver Ranger. I would have liked them to keep the actual original Rangers as the voice actors. Unfortunately, they did not. So I think that would have definitely been, been better if they did. Um, So pretty basic gameplay, you're really, you know, there's not much more to it. Um, like, let me kind of change this now, and I'll make him be on the defense, so he block. Actually, let's do long distance. So he's fighting from a distance. So I'll take down these guys and he'll help me out from, from behind or something. Ooh, there's a gold guy, and he's super fast. All right, let's do uh, close range. Help me out here, Silver. All right, let's go. It's a pretty basic gameplay here. Um, you know, it can get kind of repetitive, I think. But the, the good thing is, you know, each level, like you can maybe change it up and pick different rangers instead. Oops, I'm like messing up here. Um, and so that might be able to, you know, change it up a little. 
Like the Green Ranger, Super Mega Force Green, like instead of using a sword or anything, like he shoots like these little bombs on the ground and then they blow up after a couple seconds. So you gotta strategize a little bit too with, with what Super Ranger you wanna Rangers, use. That's a Super Mega win. Ooh, ooh, did you hear that voice acting? Ooh, that makes me cringe. See, that's why I wish they would have gotten the original voice actors. They did get Johnny Young Bosch, I think, did a couple of the voices in the game, but I mean, like, still, like, if they would have had the original actors, it would have been much better. So I've leveled up already. Level up. All right, I'm at level three. And the more better you do, the more stars you get to get, like, bronze, silver, gold, all that fun stuff. Um, all right, so let's actually, I'm going to go back one more screen here. Uh, go back into select stage. Oh, actually, never mind. I have to pick the stage first, and then the rangers. I wanted to switch rangers. Um, so let's do, yep, normal. Free play. Alright, now let's play as... I'll be Mighty Morphin Red. And I'll have Mighty Morphin Black with me as well. And then I'll do another team with some of the other rangers. So, I, you know, I suppose there's a lot of variety in the characters you can use, but so far, I mean, granted I only started the game, but so far, um, very limited in terms of what you you do in the game there. Um, so yeah, so that's what the, the Mighty Morphin Rangers look like there. I think you wanted a closer look. I'll just kind of show you the top screen anyways, because that's where the, the main stuff is. And if you lose your partner after a little while, he just pops up right next to you, so no worries about that. Oops. He's got his power sword there. Oh, and I like how they, yeah, they actually used his blade blaster. They didn't just give him just some generic weapon there. So that's kind of nice. They actually paid attention to that stuff. There really is not much of a story, at least so far. You know, I've, I've played the beginning of it, kind of mentioned a little bit of a story, but uh, it's pretty bland. Ooh, I did some sort of a crazy attack. I don't know how I did that. I pressed the R button and it did something. So maybe you have to charge it up. I guess every ranger must have like a special attack like that then. Um. I think uh, Johnny Young Bosch voiced the Mighty Morphin Black Ranger maybe. At least it sounds like him. So that actually is kind of fitting. That's pretty cool. See, it makes it that much better if the actual people voice the actual rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers! <laughs> Alrighty then. Level up. Level up. Alright, I'm just gonna continue on. Stage 1-5. I'll probably do 1-5 and 1-6. Ooh, it's a story. So that means that we get a little bit of story here. Because I want to show you guys, you know, give you an idea of the types of levels that appear in the game. So now, let's do, uh, I'm gonna do Time Force Red. Because he's awesome. And I'll throw in, uh, some Jungle Fury Red as well. Let's change things up. Let's go. From Wes and Casey. So here's the extent of the story. There's no voice acting in the story so far. Uh, Hedridge, who are you guys? What brought you here? We're here to put a stop to your plans. What? You dare to fight us? You bet we do. Let's go. You like my voice acting? It's probably better than whatever voices are in the game. Oh, snap. Some epic evil music right now. Oh, and of course, as soon as I say that, the music dies down. Well, psh, thanks, game. Thanks a lot. All right, here we go. Ooh, oh, boss battle time. This is... He's got a shield up. 
Can I break a shield? There we go, I broke a shield. I don't know, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna use this stuff at the bottom with the D-pad. I'm gonna press left on the D-pad, I don't know what it does. Okay, so the left one heals my health. The right one also healed my health or something. So maybe I'm missing something. Ooh, I just did something crazy. I just like my, uh, I just did an attack with the R button. So I charged it up somehow. Oh no, he's getting hit. Get away from him. I don't know what happens if he dies, if my partner Ranger dies. Ooh. Oh, I can heal. I forgot. Alright, let's use the R button. Let's see if I can do an attack. No, I can't? Okay. That's fine. Why am I fighting the wall? Let me move out of the way. There we go. Let's heal again. I keep, like, fighting the wall now. This is not working out. Alright, let's charge up. No, heal, heal, heal. Alright. Get out of the way! Alright, this guy needs to move out of the way. No, I'm gonna have him defense, because he keeps killing himself. But I can't have him dying. Blasting him from distance. Ooh. Haha, -ha, I broke you out of your shield. Take that. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Ooh. No. Alright. I'm actually taking a decent amount of time to kill. Heal up again. Oh no, I wasted my R button. See, I'm trying to find a meter for the R button thing, but I can't... None of the meters I see show anything, unless I'm just completely missing it. That's why I didn't realize what it was. And maybe it just takes some time to just recharge, and then... Oh! No! No, 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 snap out of it! I don't have any more healing things. Alright, let's go. Let's finish this now. Your HP's low. Let's, come on, let's end this. I'm done with you. Let's charge up. Oh no, he hit me. There we go, I broke a shield, he's stunned. Yes! That actually was kind of tough, because I used up like all my healing items, so... Power Rangers Time Force! <laughs> so I guess it calls out whatever ranger you are, not your partner. Leveled up, ooh! Leveled up quite a bit. All right. Oh, story mode, here we go. This thing got huge. This is what happens if you mess with us. We won't stand for this. Go, go, Megazord. All right, stage one, six. This is the last one. I guess it's Megazord time. Here we go. Ooh, I can pick Legendary Megazord or Q-Rex Megazord, and they have stats down here. Um, what is L and R? So it'll kind of give you, well, this other thing, there's nothing on these, so, huh. Uh, I'm just going to go with your standard Legendary Megazord for this one, you know? Let's just go with this. Legendary Megazord, ready! All right. 
Again, that would be so much cooler if they got the actual Rangers to say that. Ooh, what in the world do I do? Um, I don't know how to play this. I just press the A button. I don't know what in the world I'm doing. I'm just, I don't know. Okay, so here's my dot, here's my block. Here's my blast. And here's my attack right there. So A is the same thing as attack. Y is your defense. And, oh, B is a dodge or something? No, X is the blast. B is moving away. So I can move away if I wanted to. Oh, I can move left and right. Okay, that's kind of neat. Slash. Bam, bam, all right. So it's just, it's the same kind of thing as, as on the ground, just in slow-mo. This whole touchscreen thing confused me. Oh, I should just block that or something. Ooh, I can use this attack in the middle. Here we go. Uh, let's use Y, A, A. Oh, it's a time thing. You have to put, okay, Y, A, X. Ready? Bam, look at that. Finish it. Oh, push it as many times as possible. Go, 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 go. Okay. I'm like figuring this out as I go. Oh, snap. There we go. By the way, uh, one thing I should note. All right. This game is not in 3D. I tried turning it on. I, I played earlier, too. None of this game is in 3D. The menu, nothing is in 3D that I can tell. I, I've tried, like, so many different menus, everything. I, I can't find a single thing in 3D, and that's pretty disappointing. I think that would have been pretty cool to have in 3D. I don't remember if the Mega Force game was in 3D or not. I have a feeling it wasn't, from what I remember, but still, that's pretty disappointing. Had enough yet, Armada goons? <laughs> oh. Her, I'll send stronger minions next time. That's my Prince Vicar voice. Prince Vicar, new troops are ready to serve you. I can't do voices. Ha ha ha, well done, Lavira. Soon the world will belong to the Armada. I find the game more entertaining if I make up my own voices. <laughs> and see, now I've unlocked stage 2-1. So every stage you unlock, like what you beat, unlocks the next one, essentially. So let's kind of back out of this and, and head into the, uh, just the main screen. And, uh, that pretty much wraps it up for my video. I'll turn the sound off for a bit. Uh, head back to the, the main screen there. So that is it, guys. This is Super Mega Force for 3DS. It's, uh, it's... You know, it's actually an okay game. I, I feel like the uh, the Mega Force game was terrible. I, I would not recommend that to anybody. the The game itself was annoying. The voice acting every five seconds, somebody would be yelling something out, and it'd be the same line they just said over and over and over again. So it was very annoying. And the 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 gimmick of scanning the cards didn't work at all. In this game, the key gimmick works somewhat. Uh, it's still a little finicky. You really got to mess with it a bit, but it's much better than the cards. Um, the gameplay is repetitive, but I feel like it's a bit better because you have so much variety in the characters you can use as well. Um, and I, I actually like the Zord fight thing. Once I figured out what I was doing, I, I thought it was kind of cool. The boss battle was pretty neat. It wasn't. It was actually a little bit of a challenge, you know. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, there's not much to this game. But I feel like it's still somewhat enjoyable. It's actually a decent game. And the Mega Force game, after I did that review, I have not touched the game since then. Literally. I have not. I put away the game. I have not played that game at all since I did that review. This game, though, I feel like I might actually go back and play some more. In fact, I'm going to actually try and scan my other keys and get everything in the game. And I, I might actually play more. I actually kind of enjoyed it. It's not the best game ever. But it's actually still somewhat enjoyable. And, and so, personally, you know, if you're looking for something fun to play, especially like your kids, if they're fans of Power Rangers, I think they might enjoy this game if you have a 3DS or even a 2DS because, you know, both of them, there's no 3D in the game, so really the 2DS, you're not losing out on anything with it. Um, and if you have some keys, they'll, they'll probably enjoy scanning the keys and playing as those rangers in the game as well. So there's a lot of fun stuff there for kids. For, for your adult collectors, 
you know, if you really want to get some sort of a game, then then this game is okay. The, the Mega Force game had a collectible card, and so that's the main reason I bought that one initially. And uh, this one does not have any key at all. In fact, I think, I, I wish it did. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm sure other people probably wish it didn't because they probably, you know, had to buy the game just for the card before. And this game they can skip out on. So I bought this because a lot of people saw, liked my Mega Force review for 3DS and I figured I would do one for Super Mega Force for 3DS. And I'm kind of glad I did. I actually think this game is is, is a little bit enjoyable. It's not, not too bad. So um, check out uh, Ranger Crew's website, blog.samuraicast.com. It is, is like his, his blog and, and there's an article on it, a review on this game as well. And he goes over the unlockables and his impressions on all sorts of stuff in the game. So definitely check that out. I'll put a link in the description box below so so check that out he's a very great site uh, very useful resource and um, yeah definitely uh, you know if you guys have any questions about the game let me know post them in the comments below but hopefully this little gameplay review uh, sort of thing helped explain what it was that's really the point of this video I wanted to give you some idea of the gameplay tell you what it does give you my thoughts and and hopefully you found it useful so thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys later